President-elect Donald Trump says he'll announce his choice for Secretary of State as soon as next week. Retired General David Petraeus is on the short list of candidates. The former CIA director would need a special permission to serve. He admitted sharing classified information with his biographer, Paula Broadwell, and is now on probation. The two were also having an affair. Only on CBS This Morning, Broadwell is speaking out in her first national TV interview since we learned of the affair. Broadwell is a former military intelligence officer, and she told me she has no ill will against Petraeus. She just wants to move on with her life and career. I've been strongly advised to not talk to the press, um, and I understand that. Sometimes it's better to remain silent. I've had that philosophy for the last five years. But I, I've reached a point where I feel like, you know what, I need to fight back for my life. You want to move on? It's time to move on. But moving on has been difficult for Paula Broadwell. Broadwell and Petraeus admitted to an extramarital affair in 2012. Prosecutors found that Petraeus mishandled classified information while Broadwell was writing his biography all in. He pleaded guilty last year in federal court to unauthorized removal and retention of classified documents. He was fined $100,000 and remains on probation. Broadwell was never criminally charged. Do you think he should be allowed to serve in a top-level post in the Trump administration? No, I think he's unequally qualified for many positions, but that's not my position to say. I think the president-elect would have to decide and members of the Senate. As I woke up to the news, you know, it was a bit of a shocker that he was being considered for a cabinet position, and I was, I was both shocked that I'm still in this tenuous position and yet happy because I think he should be able to go on with his life. He's earned it, um, and so should his family. Um, but then it begged the question of why shouldn't I be able to go on? She served 21 years in the U.S. military, 13 years in the Army Reserve. After the affair, she was demoted from lieutenant colonel to major, lost her top secret security clearance, and just last month received a formal reprimand. Petraeus found out in January that he won't face any military discipline. What is your status now with the U.S. Army? I am waiting for my resignation paperwork to be approved. And when do you expect that to happen? Well, I'd love a Merry Christmas present, <laughs> but I don't know. I you know I was, um, I thought earlier this year when David Petraeus was pardoned, for lack of a better word, that I would hear something soon. Um, and so it's 10 months later and I'm hopeful that the end is here. What she really wants, she tells us, is equality. While Petraeus has seen new opportunities, Broadwell says she's been denied them, including a position at a prominent bank. So I think I was qualified for this position, but I was told by the military recruiter that um, it would be front, front page news if it got hired at the bank and the bank wouldn't want to deal with that. If the bank hired Paula Broadwell. Exactly. And I realized that's probably true, but um, it was hard to stomach at the time. I have a degree from the University of Denver uh, in international conflict resolution. Um, I have a degree from Harvard in public policy. You're a West Point graduate. I'm, I went to West Point undergraduate. Sometimes I try to forget those days, but i um, also very proud of it, and it's shaped the person I am. It's shaped me into a fighter, which is why I'm fighting to take back my own narrative and my life. Um, but I also believe, on principle, I've got something to offer the world, and I'm not a bench warmer. That's not my personality. Put me in coach. Senators from both parties have expressed support for Broadwell. Democrat Claire McCaskill told the political website The Hill there shouldn't be two standards. Republican Lindsey Graham has been a vocal supporter of Petraeus. She wasn't convicted of anything. No one's ever brought charges against her. Uh, I think she should be treated fairly in terms of, you know, what they did. Still, Broadwell says the uncertainty over her future has made for some very difficult years. What has this been like for your family? Well, they've been incredibly supportive, and I frankly owe my life to my husband and my children. They know I made a mistake and that it hurt daddy. And what I talk about with them is that when you make a mistake, you acknowledge it, yet you don't dwell on it, and you need to move forward at some point. So we apply that mantra <laughs> in pretty much everything in but our But have household. you been able to move forward professionally? Not on the path that I had planned for myself or hoped for. But I'm hopeful, Nora. Um, I think 
I think time heals everything. And I, you know, I'm wiser now. Um, I'm humbler now. I'm, but I'm always proud to be an optimist. Now, Broadwell says the Justice Department has notified her that it doesn't intend to file criminal charges. Before we learned of her military reprimand, the Army sent us a statement saying it evaluates all allegations of misconduct on a case-by-case -case basis and determines what type of disciplinary or administrative action is appropriate in a particular case based on the facts and circumstances of that case. What is Broadwell doing now? Well, she founded an organization called the Think Broader Foundation to target what she sees as social and gender bias in the media. So I think it's great, Nora, that she's speaking out and speaking out on her behalf. What's the explanation of why there was no military action against him, yet that she has suffered some consequences emotion? Well, uh, he had retired mm -hmm. from the military. Remember, he was CIA director and then had to leave CIA director post right after the 2012 election, after this became mm -hmm. um, public. She's been in the reserves, but it's been five years. Yeah. And yeah. she just got the reprimand before Thanksgiving. Um, so she's trying to make the case to move on. I do think just on the substance, just to remind everybody, you know, Petraeus this weekend was out uh, speaking publicly, and he noted that the FBI said that none of that classified information ever made it into the biography or mm -hmm. in public that mm -hmm. he's accused of mishandling. Mm -hmm. And she said she agrees that that's an important point. Yeah, so, that's an important Amazing. Note. Five years later. And good to see that she and her husband and her family are still together. Yeah. All right.